Hello, everyone, and welcome to the May edition of AOPA's State Policy Forecast. I'm your host, Sam Miller, and today I'll be giving you the most up-to-date information on the current ONP climate. With the help of our members, AOPA tracks and addresses state-level policy challenges across the country. I'll be giving you the scoop on some of those efforts over the next few minutes. To start things off, let's head back to Texas, where cranial remolding orthosis legislation has seen some movement. HB 134, which mandates coverage of CROs for both deformational plagiocephaly and craniosynostosis in Medicaid and CHIP, successfully passed out of the House in early April, with 114 to 32 vote in favor. AOPA CRO Workgroup and a coalition of providers in the state assisted in this effort by providing testimony and demonstrating support from Texas-based healthcare organizations, physicians, and ONP practitioners. The bill now moves to the Senate. Next, we'll head to Kansas for some Medicaid reimbursement developments. Earlier this month, Kansas's Division of Healthcare Finance announced that Kansas Medicaid will be increasing its demi-post reimbursement to 80% of Medicare. The increase has a proposed effective date of July 1st of this year. Now, let's travel to the Pacific Northwest for some great news out of Oregon. Just last week, Oregon Governor Tina Kotek signed SB 797 into law, which re-implements insurance fairness for enrollees in state commercial plans. Governor Kotek's signature comes after unanimous votes in both the House and the Senate. You hear that, folks? That's the So Kids Can Move groove once again. We have some exciting news to share. Let's head on over to Illinois to kick things off. With the help of Jim Kaiser and the Illinois Society of Orthotists and Prosthetists, SB 2195, which mandates coverage of activity-specific orthoses and prostheses in commercial health plans for enrollees of all ages, has passed the House and now awaits the signature of Governor J.B. Pritzker. Finally, we move to Colorado for some similarly positive news. HB 1136, which requires commercial plans in the state to cover activity-specific prostheses for enrollees of all ages, has successfully passed out of the Senate and now awaits Governor Jared Polis' signature, thanks in part to continued support from the Rocky Mountain o and Coalition. All right, folks, that just about wraps things up. Thank you so much for tuning into this month's state policy forecast. I've decided to make a quick pit stop in Indianapolis this weekend to watch the Indy 500 and cheer on McLaren, my favorite motorsports team. AOPA's National Assembly will also be taking place right here in Indianapolis from September 6th to 9th. Registration is now open, so be sure to claim a spot. And for more state OMP policy information, please be sure to check out the AOPA Co-op and the State by State section of the OMP Almanac. This is Sam Miller, signing off.